about Nasus, Deadly Shapes, and this, they all build on each other because they're all like basically a, like a, a homage to like the old school kung fu style, like traditional Chinese kung fu like style. I think I've spent more time stressing out about this than like most things in my life. There's a lot of culture, a lot of passion. I came here pretty, pretty oblivious to the kung fu culture. I learned a lot from the set, Shaw Brothers. <laughs> I would consider it to be completely like on another level. Yo, what is going on guys? This is Jaya from the Dragon Lords and if you're watching this, you probably have already seen whatever just came out the uh, upload date before. But this is way before filming and we're just in the very, very early pre-production, so planning stage. And so right now, I'm about to head to Vaughn. We're going location hunting. We're not so much hunting because we already have an ideal location in mind. We're going location scouting. I gotta talk to the guys at the temple because I keep calling them and they just keep ghosting me. So I'm like, all right, screw it. I'm just gonna go hit them up. So drive all the way to Vaughn, hit up my guy, Steven. I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna see how the shots look and uh, find a good spot to film, so. Let's do this. Right, this is the set of uh, Well, oh, hopefully. My, my I, I really hope this is the set. But yeah, here we are. Isn't this beautiful, man? Ooh. This is the most, this is the most like, Asian looking. looking pagoda temple, like, like, uh, yeah, around our area, which oh, is pretty blessed. Is, is, and you got some nice stone statues. This is so nice, yo. I, ho I really hope we get to film here. Okay, we're just gonna talk to the, uh, the guys in charge. I think they're in this building. And then let's see if we could get their permission to film here because this will be really freaking nice. All right, so no one was home. yeah, we got ghosted again. It's so real life. can't believe it. I know, but hey, Man. if it's this empty on weekends, then we could just shoot and then everything will be fine. So maybe it's not a bad thing, but anyways, yeah, this is so perfect. We could just shoot like right here at the front and like maybe the low side, the corridors. But yeah, we left them a note saying yeah that we're interested and i got i have my emergency have my emergency business card Damn in my phone boy. case you know strapped at all times Jeez. for moments like this but yeah hopefully we'll get something back and if not we'll just start shooting anyways and hopefully nobody kicks us out all right pretty all excited right. now it's time to go home and do some homework if you know what i mean all right so i want this film to be a tribute like you know i said deadly shapes Jeez, this chair is so creaky. But I, like I said, Deadly Shapes was a uh, tribute to the old school kung fu movie genre. Well, I want this to be a tribute to the 70s and early 80s Shaw Brothers classic kung fu movies. So like Challenge of the Masters, Martial Club, My Young Auntie, Legendary Weapons of China, <clears throat> Eight Diagram Pole Fighter, all that stuff. So I want this to be a Shaw Brothers tribute. And so for the end credit, I'm going to do the classic Shaw Brothers freeze frame, and then they will show the the end, another Shaw production, and then Shaw scope. And then, so I want to add my own twist to that. So here, as you can see, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to recreate the Shaw scope or the Shaw Brothers ending frame, end credit frame, whatever, the the end, basically, graphic, but with Dragon Lord's characteristics. So. Chinese characters and the end that's actually from the original I just enhanced it with on paint.net so that it's not as pixelated and then I'm going to enhance the Shaw scope logo here then I'm gonna put Dragon Lords instead of Shaw scope and you know you already put Dragon Lords production and then here another Dragon Lords uh, version so I want to make this the end credit for this film and I still have not come up with a title for this film yet, but I just know I want this to end on a freeze frame and with this. Also, another thing that you could probably tell what's gonna happen. So look at this. Does this look familiar to you? Does this look familiar to you by any chance? 
because yes i'm going to do or i'm going to recreate the classic shaw brothers intro the loud ass music and then the shaw scope Except with Dragon Lord's characteristics once again, so I'm just trying to recreate the background, the uh, glass with the different lights, and this is what I've got so far, which is pretty actually, I, I'm pretty proud of myself for coming up with this. So originally this is the image I got off of Google, and so I'm like, okay, how can I add the lights? So what I did was, if I take this away, I just rendered a gradient and then made it less opaque, I put it over top of the glass, and boom! looks convincing enough to me, so I'm pretty happy with that, but I'm really, really excited to see how the Dragon Lords slash Shaw Brothers fanfare would turn out, because, oh, I love that. I love that intro. Every time you hear that opening, you already know somebody's about to get their asses whooped, so really excited to see how this turns out, and, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Yo, 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 what's up? Oh, see, so you got the tripod. Good shit. All right, let me unlock the door. Yeah, you can just throw it in the back. Yeah, or, or whatever. Honestly, we have a lot of room. Okay, so, update. We got permission from the abbot. And we get to shoot at his temple. Yeah. Sure. Look at that, this is such... Yo, we actually lucked out here, eh? It's like the most Asian looking place, just in the middle of Vaughn. Right, right next to it, there's like just farms and stuff, and then here's just a temple. And sure. we get shooting permission, so that's... This is uh, a... Hopefully they finish the construction, you know? Since Hopefully. It's been, uh, it's been uh, since 2014, I think they started, so, uh, yo, maybe <laughs> this video gets a million views. This is such a beautiful looking building, and uh, we get to shoot here. I'm pretty sure I said that already. Yeah, yeah. Just excited. All right, so here we are on set. We've got this sweet ass corridor. Look at that. Of course. This is the obligatory martial club. Yes, Every time when there's a hallway involved, a corridor. But yeah, so we're on set. We're just gonna. Fuck, this is really dark. There we go. We're gonna we're plan. Gonna do something with lighting, right? You said. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe. We're, we're, we're gonna have to figure that out. But yeah, so lighting here, the shadow. We probably should do something about that. I don't know. Maybe we just never get the ground, so that the shadow doesn't show up or something. I'm not too sure. Uh, this is yeah. We're kind of still like, even though this is like more planned than really all of our previous mm -hmm. uh, projects. We're still kind of making stuff up as we go. So it's not like 100% planned because we just don't have the manpower or the equipment to make it really work like 100%. But hey, you know, they don't do a 100% plan in uh, Hong Kong either, you know? Oh, you just go, you go with the flow. Script is tight, low. Yeah, exactly. We'll just, we'll figure something out. We're just gonna choreograph. We're gonna train and get familiar with their environments. And then so we can start thinking of of shots, planning camera movement, and planning choreo. So, yes, sir. let's do it. It's got like the people, I don't know if it's like sacred or something. They're like stepping on it, might be a bit disrespectful. How about if they hit the star? So we'll see. We're still like walking, right? still walking, yeah. I can have like, right? like, 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 hey man, hey, what, man. Do you, what do you think of Kung Fu? I think Kung Fu should be used for horror. No, man, so hard. Don't, don't hold me so hard all the time. Are you sure? Yeah, bro. I mean, blah, blah, and then it's like, here, let me just show you an example. Why yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like, yeah, it's like, yo, it's like, come on, let me know with that. And then, and then I could, and then I'll, I'll use my well, fan for this. Like, I guess so, I'll be, I'll be like, see, I told you, this is what I did, you're fine. This proves my point. Or I could use the fan, right? And then you, I could be like, hey, look, man. I could even like fend you off with the fan. Maybe you know you should be considered being hard all the time. Mm -hmm. And then and then you'd be like, oh no, I was I was only using three percent of my power. I'm like, okay. Oh, and shit. then I'll screw you. And then and yeah, you know, pull a shanky, and then I could like tuck my fan in, or like, get rid of the fan somehow, and then okay. And then we'll go hand to hand. And then we'll make our way down to the uh, middle. Basically, walk and walk and walk. All right. Yeah. So okay, and then I can be here, and then, and then so you gotta make the first move. move. Okay. So, oh. Okay, so if you do that, I can be. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I'll show you one, and then you can like maybe do a wrist thing or whatever. I go like one, and then you can like do something like that, yeah. 
then we'll well maybe you could do like two. You could do like or two or three. You could do like one, two, three, and then wrist. One, and then you could go for like another maybe. Or you could use like you could use two hands too, maybe. Or I guess one one hand. One hand. They all use one hand. They right? go one hand based first. On, right? Based true. on your research, right? You do that. You can pull it back. And then you can do that. So you go, go one and then go one and then go. Mm, this feels Right, and then, yeah. So wait, what, dude. Okay, so oh, that feels better, right? Eh? Yeah, that feels better. Okay, maybe, and then after that, you could go for like, yeah. like that, and then I could block. I mean, like, a, I want to think of a fancy way of like opening up and sink like that. Usually they check the dude, right? And they do, yeah, but then that's too easy. That's too easy. We gotta, we gotta think of something a bit more, uh, a little bit more fancier, you know? Oh, Just. Right. Yeah, I think we're afraid. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. All oh, right, I gotta like six. And then you step around, right? Oh wait. Well, there's. A, well, actually, this. I still don't know. I still don't know yet. That's the thing. I don't know, like, if I want to do this, or if I want to just you pull me down. Hatch. Right, and then you switch hands, right? Right, that. I don't I don't know yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, seven, eight, eight, eight. Wait, I, I go eight, still stick. Eight and then you grab nine. Let's say I caught that ten. And that's what we have so far. If we pull this off right, man, this could be very good. This is the this could be the best one. Oh yeah. Yeah. The sun's not over there. Yeah. yeah. We were saying not really, but now, now we're still in the sun. At least not all the time. So that means how are we going to do this? Because it's going to change, right? I know. Like, we're going to go day? Yeah. Like, like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. And then it's going to keep coming here. Because the sun's going to go down. Yeah. And then we're going to get twice. Fuck, like we're going to get twice. Yeah. That's another issue, but... Uh, okay. Four, five, nine, five, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, and then I throw. Sixteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Chamber. Nineteen. No, so you chamber at eighteen. So eighteen, then nineteen, and then chamber. Then I go. Twenty. And that's a Beat, wait, wait, pause, and then go. One, two, three, sorry, three. I was thinking maybe instead I could, because uh, you go low, and then I go high here. If I, if I block at this, I can go one, and then I'll do I'll do this again, but then this time, you, instead of uh, leaning back, you step back. Step back, and then it sets me up. Better okay. We're gonna get a little warm up done right now before we get to the meat of our sequence. Oh, see, you filming? Hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was filming this whole time. I was like, yeah, wait. you're just doing your own thing. Yes, sir. So, uh, we're, we're moving on to the meaty part of the, the fight scene. Just the shapes, the hand hand combat. Yes, sir. It's warm up time. Let's go.
So for this video, I want it to be Hongkyun, just like the old school Shaw Brothers movies, especially those Wang Fei Hong movies that my guy Lao Ga Leng and Gordon Liu used to star in, or they used to make. Uh, it's heavily, heavily Southern styles, especially Hongkyun, because they're all from the Hongkyun background, right? So for this one, obviously, I figured if I want to do it properly, if I want to do it right, I need to brush up on my Hongkyun. So my relationship with Hongkyun is basically, uh, once again, no formal instructors uh no formal training from schools or academies or whatever but uh i learned the form tiger crane online and i know tiger crane is the second form of the hong Kong curriculum at least the wang fei hong lineage i don't know why i'm saying all this but basically tiger crane is the second form but then i just kind of skipped the first form and just went straight to the second because i thought the uh tiger crane had the most hong Kong aesthetic with the tiger and the crane shapes so i'm like ah screw it you know i'll just learn this i'll skip the first one i'm just gonna brush it up i'm probably doing most of it wrong but i do have some background in wing chun and i have to say that some movements in hong Kyun and wing chun are very similar so i was able to decipher a few movements and some stuff from the hong Kyun form based on my wing chun background small details that you can't really see by watching video i was kind of able to kind of piece together from my wing chun training so hopefully i'm doing something right i don't know but at least hopefully i'll be able to look like i know how to do it and hopefully it'll look right So the thing about Hong Kyun forms is that they're super, super freaking long. So you know, uh, I think in Wushu, a form is usually a minute and a half, right? It doesn't matter if you're doing empty hand or weapons, they're usually about a minute, minute and a half. In uh, Shaolin, they're even shorter. They're honestly about anywhere between 30 to 50 seconds, maybe a minute. But man, Hong Kyun, Hong Kyun is straight up three minutes if you're doing it fast. If you're doing it slow like I was, five minutes, five, six minutes, straight up. So it's like a five, six minute workout. You're holding the stances, your hands are holding the, uh, the, the post, their postures and whatever. And then at the same time, right, you gotta move them. 
moving your stances, <laughs> like jumping around, hopping around, switching your stances, moving around, or especially, you know, hunking. It's a lot about arms, so the pushing, punching and everything, so it's like a five, six minute workout, holy crap. Yeah, so very rusty. Definitely not Long Kalung or Gordon Liu, uh, but this is why we train, and hopefully, I'm gonna take this week, I'm gonna take the next little bit, to really, really, really clean up my home gym so that I can deliver my best performance with this style to the best of my abilities. Because I have to do Shaw Brothers, I have to do La Galen, I have to do Gordon Liu, I have to do old school Kung Fu movies justice. I have to do them justice because I can't live with myself if I don't. So, more training.